let's continue talking about breathing for singing. Last time we talked about the soft palate and the space that you have whenever you take a breath. If you need to, go and review that so you feel that openness and that relaxation. Once you get that, let's continue on. Start with your good singing posture, feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, sternum raised up, shoulders back and down, neck and spine elongated, head balanced on your neck. When you breathe in, everything here opens up, your soft palate raises up, your throat relaxes. Do that once. Good. And you can breathe in through your nose or just through the, a straw shape, like you're sipping in through a straw. And feel all that open space there. Now, what does the breath look like for the rest of your body? We talked about it up here. When you breathe in, this shouldn't move. If this is moving, you're changing the shape of your instrument, and that's not going to be good. Just think if you were changing the shape of a wind instrument, and you started pulling it apart while you were playing. It wouldn't work very well. Well, we're a wind instrument too, so it's not going to work very well. You want to keep this as tall and open and broad as possible. When you breathe for singing, all the movement happens down here between the bottom of your rib cage and your belly button. There's a muscle that goes right here called your diaphragm, and your diaphragm is shaped like this. When you breathe in, it goes down and it opens up your lungs. When you breathe out, it goes up and it closes your lungs and they shrink down. When it goes down and you breathe in, it has to push everything else out of the way. And so this, all of your guts, stomach and everything, moves outward. Here, I'll show you. Here's me breathing in. You'll see it expand. And here's me breathing out returns to its normal place. So for all of us, for singers, we want to think a deep, low breath. You have to be a little comfortable with the way your belly comes out. And a lot of us have this, this problem where we're obsessed with physical image, we're obsessed, we're obsessed with um, a certain way that we have to look and how thin and everything else. But what we've done with singers, especially, is we've damaged the way that we're breathing. If you watch a baby breathe, a baby is going to breathe the way that I just showed you. Don't believe me? Test it out. Find a, a sibling or a niece or a nephew or whoever and go test it out. That's the way babies breathe. But somewhere along the line in our lives, we've learned the wrong way to breathe. Where when we think we breathe in, we go, <gasps> and when we breathe out, we go, <sighs> and all that does is create tension. It damages the shape of our instrument and it gives us a really bad breath. It's like, driving your car with hardly any gas in it. You can drive a little bit, but it's gonna fail pretty soon. So for singing, we need a deep and low breath every time. Find your good posture. Put a hand right here, and like you're sipping through a straw, breathe in, and imagine the air flowing down. And then breathe out. And when you breathe out, this compresses, but this doesn't collapse. You can help yourself by imagining it's like an elevator going to the bottom floor and then to the top floor. So keep this hand here and monitor the movement that's going on right here. Now put this hand here in and breathe. Feel it flowing downward. And then feel it flowing upward. Feel it flowing down. And up. And down again. And up. Practice this as many times as you need to so that the air flows downward instead of into your shoulders and creates tension. Singers don't just learn this in a day and are perfect with it. Singers are constantly working on their breath. So continue doing it. Review this video as many times as you need to, as often as you need to, 
in order for you to find that really deep, low place to breathe. And if you're still not convinced that it's a good idea, let me show you the difference between those two. Here is a breath that happens up here. It's shallow, it's tense, and it doesn't produce enough fuel for me to sing. I'm gonna breathe in and then I'll hiss out and you can see. It just didn't last very long. I was really trying, I was trying to make it last longer, but it fizzled. Instead, if this posture is in place and then I breathe deep and low, It lasts a lot longer without any extra work. In fact, it's probably a little bit less work to get the deep, long phrases when you have that really, really good breath. So start with that and work on that as much as you need to. If you're still having trouble finding it, try practicing laying on the floor and putting a textbook here. And when you breathe in, let the textbook rise up with your breath and then lower when you exhale. One last thing. When you exhale, and you might have noticed me doing it just a second ago, you don't want to let it collapse right away. When you're singing, you want to keep this expanded outward as long as possible and only let it collapse at the last moment. I'll show you one more time. I breathe out and I empty all of my air and this goes inward. And then I breathe in and it goes outward. Now I'm going to hiss and this is going to stay out. This is staying out the whole time. Then at the very end, it collapses. I have a little air baby and then it goes away. So keep working on that. Breath is absolutely essential to you singing well and singing better than you are now, improving in your voice. It's going to make a huge difference. Your work is going to pay off.